So the muggle pet hamster is not a similar species to the pygmy pup. No, common misconception. They just look a bit alike, that's all. Right. <laughs> Must be the teeth. Anyway, thank you for your help, Mooney. I think, I think that's all I need to know for the quiz tomorrow. You're welcome, James. I hope you'll do well and you succeed in impressing Lily this time. Thank you. Me too. Otherwise, I learned all of this for nothing. I'd argue it's pretty important knowledge. So. Absolutely nothing. Right. Anyway, Pats and Wormtail, do you know where they went? Yeah, the kitchen. Grabbing snacks. I see. It's getting late. Yep. We should probably head to bed. Probably, yeah. This is my bed. Yep. James? Mm hmm? Can I be vulnerable on your bed? <laughs> Mate, you're vulnerable wherever you go. Go right ahead. Right, well, the thing is. Sirius has been spending an awful lot of time with Molly McKinnon lately, huh? I guess so. They seem to really be hitting it off. I mean, as a teenage boy, my attention span for things that doesn't directly involve me is limited, but I guess you might be right. Right. Well, the thing is, it just makes me a bit... sad. Why? Well, because she's a girl. Well, nicely spotted, mate. So what? Well, and Sirius enjoys spending time with her. Sirius has plenty of time for all of us. Remember, he doesn't spend any time with family, so he has a bit extra to go around. You gotta think positive, Mooney. You can think positive, James, and I'll be realistic. And the facts are, if he starts dating McKinnon... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm gonna stop you right there, mate. Two people of the opposite genders can enjoy each other's company without being attracted to one another. I guess you're right, yeah. Sorry. Besides, Sirius is gay. Sirius is what? Gay! You uh, know, I do have an excellent gay dar, so... Uh, why do you say that? Well, because he told me. Well, he told him he, me he might be and... I said he was, I wasn't because he seemed a bit scared of it and I didn't want him to be sad, but liking guys is a pretty integral part of being gay, straw baby ice cream or not. Well, maybe you shouldn't out him to other people, James. Why? Well, maybe he doesn't want everyone to know how he feels. But I'd tell everyone. I mean, everyone, how I feel about Evans. Yeah, and it's a bit weird, isn't it? No. Okay, well, each to their own. And that's the point. You might feel comfortable telling everyone how you feel about Evans, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he feels comfortable telling everyone how he feels. And if he's gay, he might be especially vulnerable. Talk stools. I really messed up then. You won't tell him that I told you that he told me, right? No, of course not. Great, thank you. So... Was that all you want to talk about? I think so, yeah. Are you sure? Confident. Alright, because I'm gonna turn off the lights now. Go right ahead, James. Thanks for listening, James. You really are an incredibly decent friend. I know. It's going to be the death of me. So, Mooney, do you like strawberry ice cream? <laughs>